Welcome everyone to the second lesson of the topic of the internet. In this lesson we're going to be learning about how the client and server model works. This is how the internet shares files and how it's connected using IP addresses. So our objectives today are to understand how the client server model works and know how to set up a network. We will begin at looking at a very simple example of how you in your own home uh, might request some files from different places in the world. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to connect your computer at your home here to a router like we said in the last video. So this is going to be our router in your home and we're going to connect your computer using a wire to this router. Now your router is going to be connected to an ISP which we're going to draw here. Remember ISP stands for Internet Service Provider and your ISP is then going to connect to the rest of the network which spans the world, the globe. So let's say for example that you wish to visit Netflix but you are unaware of the uh, website's name. You don't know the website's name so you want to search for Netflix on Google. So what you want to do first is you want to type in on your web browser uh, www.google.com and you press enter on your keyboard. What you do when you press enter is you send out to the network, to the rest of the world, uh, a GET request. So let me just change the color of my pen here. What you do when you press enter is you send a GET request. So what you're basically saying is uh, get me this website to the network. You are requesting that this website is got for you. Kind of like in a restaurant, a client, so this is the client who is sitting down, uh, requests the waiter to get him some food or some drink. So he says, get me uh, some food, please. Now, your ISP will send out this request on the internet and your ISP will find Google in the world using this network and will give them that request of yours. So Google now has a GET request from you. Now that you have requested the website from Google, Google will then send the website, which is just a file, like this, to your computer. And it will do this, again, using the network which you are connected to. And it will send it first to your ISP, then your ISP will find your router, and your router will then send it to your computer. So what will be displayed on your screen is the search box for Google and of course uh, their logo on top together with a few buttons that you can click. So when you sent out the GET request your ISP found where Google is in the world so this is a physical company somewhere in the world uh, where they have these things called servers and those servers contain uh, the website or the files for, for the company which they send out to the clients and when, you, when they get a GET request from you they send you the file. So the company Google is like the server in this image which then brings you back the food which obviously in this case is representing the files which is the website. Now, when you type in Netflix on the Google search box and you press the button that says search, 
what happens is you again send another message to Google. So another message will go out. I'm going to change the color for this. So another message will go through uh, your router to your ISP, which again will send that file to uh, Google. The file being the, the search word, Netflix. Now, Google will obviously search the entirety of the globe using this key term and will then again send some information back to you, will serve you some information and will show you a list of different websites which match your search word. So for example, Netflix right here will be a link that you can click on to access the website for Netflix. So when you click on this uh, link here, what happens is your ISP again searches the entire globe for the company Netflix and where their servers are. So they will search the internet and they will send out again through, you will send the get request through your router to your ISP, which will then find the company Netflix and give them your get request. So basically you're saying, get me your website. Netflix in return, send you their file using this network again to your ISP and your ISP will send it to your router and back to your computer. And that is when the website for Netflix will actually show up on your computer. So you'll have the Netflix uh, logo on the top. And of course, you will see a list of items you can click on to watch uh, whatever movies or whatever TV shows Netflix has. This is how the client server model actually works. You constantly send out requests on the internet and your ISP finds these companies in the world and sends them your request to view their files. And once they get your request, they send you those files back to your computer.